Okay, this is just an update on the koi pond then that I've been building uh, for the last six weeks, or that's been up and running for the last six weeks. And we're at a stage now basically where the whole garden needs landscaping around it. Um, I'm currently studying the conservatory, so this is the view for the conservatory. And then we'll have a walk out to it. So basically we've got a perspex window in there. That's um, it's a bit windy out here today. Perspex window that's about 30 millimetres thick, so there's the window. Um, got a water blade there. I'll put the link to the description uh, of where I got that from on eBay. That's a nice bloke who helped uh, build that for me, or build that for me. Um, again, walls have all been rendered. Don't know how that will work in the winter, whether it will crack or split, but time will tell you. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the video and we're going to uh, put together a few slides of me building and putting this together and then we'll come back and we'll just go through the filtration. It's a lovely date on the 2nd of April 2017. This is the decking, the bridge and this is the old pond where there's like a little water feature and this is where we're going to get digging and have our new pond. Okay, let's get going at it. Down quite a deep, quite a depth now. It's hard to pick up on camera, so still about another couple of foot to go. And they get cracking. <laughs> in now started doubling up on the bricks at the front just to give it a bit more strength it's been chucking it down with rain I've kept it sheeted over and it's kept fairly dry but you can see those lower cement bricks are actually wet anyway I'm just going to carry on now with the uh, double skin <laughs> Now filling with water, got the liner in, got the winder in. You can see the gaskets that we've used, the acrylic gaskets going right round. And the next step now is to cut away the liner uh, for yeah. the window hole.
Okay, we'll have a look at the uh, filter. So basically, down there, there's a uh, bottom drain that you can see, and that's been fed all the way across the deck into the shed. And we'll have a look in there in a second. Um, but we've also got in here, we've got a skimmer. So the skimmer is attached here to four inch, it was converted, standard skimmer converted to four inch. Um, I was going to put it to a uh, sieve, but then I uh, changed my mind. I still might do that, but at the moment I've changed my mind, so that's just running pump fed to a, uh, an easy pod. And then basically, at the back of the pond, we've got a bridge, so if we follow the bridge over, So we've got down here, you can see there the 4 inch bottom drain feed and uh, the 2 inch return and that's also the air line going in for the aerated bottom drain. So if we come over here to the shed, you can see that we've got a whoops we've got a second nexus easy pod and we've also got that going through an evo 30 and that's all been pump returned by a superfish pondico 800 uh, liters per hour and for those that haven't seen i've also made some modifications to the easy pod uh, check out my other video on this so basically got in there it's very difficult to see on this video but you've got a plastic disc pushing the uh, the K1 down and then on top of that you've got some uh, jet matting and that's pretty much the that pretty much sums up the uh, filtration okay so that's the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you like the pond and the filter system and if you've got any questions stick them down in the description uh, sorry in the comments below cheers thanks for watching